calls it a post-election power grab. Republican lawmakers in Wisconsin and Michigan are working to change the laws in those states, changes that could reduce the authority of the incoming Democratic governors and attorneys general. WBZ's political analyst John Keller has the story. The lame duck period during a transfer of power is often an opportunity for political quackery. We walked out of the Oval Office for the last time. Remember when President Clinton on his last day in office pardoned a notorious tax cheat whose wife was a big time donor to the Clintons? But that was small potatoes compared with the stunts Republicans in Wisconsin and Michigan are pulling after losing power in last month's elections. In Wisconsin, where voters elected a Democratic governor and attorney general, Republicans narrowly passed a bill limiting early voting that tends to favor Democrats and curbing the power of Governor-elect Tony Evers. I'm concerned. I think that um, Governor-elect Evers yeah. is going to bring a liberal agenda to Wisconsin. This bill was only written because Republicans are sore losers. They lost statewide elections and they decided as a result to take away power from the governor and attorney general when they had this opportunity for eight years. And in Michigan, a similar scenario with Republicans trying to water down the authority of a new Democratic governor, attorney general and secretary of state. And they can only win by cheating and that's what they're doing in there right now. They're a bunch of cowards. Not the first time we've seen lame duck power grabs, but still a symptom of our ever-widening partisan divide. It's wild, isn't it? And John, it's not just partisan divide. This is yeah. geographical in some Yeah, ways. in this most recent election, we had more uh, polarization between urban areas and rural areas than in ever before in modern times. Mm -hmm. Democrats in Wisconsin, Michigan, getting almost all their votes from urban centers, Republicans on the rural area. You add that kind of conflict to the, the partisan and ideological rancor, you've got a toxic formula. And in Wisconsin, you could say, well, they can just solve this by voting those people out if they don't like it, but they've gerrymandered the state to the point where it's very hard to change your representatives in Wisconsin. If people get mad enough, even a gerrymander isn't going to stop them. We'll see. John Keller, <laughs> thank you very much. Paula, over to you. All right, Liam, John, thanks.